Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about open source large language models and a Luther AI. Most of the AI progress currently has been scaling up large neural nets to get better results. People have added more parameters, more data, and the things that the neural nets have been able to do becomes increasingly impressive. Um, so this was seen with GPT-3, which was a large language model that was not especially novel in its architecture, but was much larger than previous models and um, was able to create much more complex um, sentences and text. Um, so the downside of this, though, is that it's very centralized in who has access to the resources to train these very large models, and it's a bit harder for open source projects to compete. Um, but Eleuther AI is an exception to this, and they're, as they say, a grassroots collective of researchers working to open source AI research. Um, and they've successfully trained several um, large-scale models that are very impressive. Um, so as you can see here in the projects, they're, they've done GPT-NEO, GPT-NEO-X, uh, Mesh Transformer, JAX, um, which are all large language models. They have their own large text data set for training these models, and it looks like they're currently working on an AlphaFold re replication. Uh, but today I'm going to be looking at their large language models, which they've already released open source and you can try online. Um, so this is the demo for um, their largest one, the GPT Neo X with 20 billion parameters. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate this by using uh, their tagline as a prompt. Uh, interesting. Uh, another thing I'm interested in using large language language models for is to do translation. So, for example. Uh, so that doesn't seem to work. We can try a few shot example. Okay. Uh, so that worked. Um, Um, so this model, in my experience, has been at least vaguely similar to GPT-3, at least uh, GPT-3 when it first came out. Um, they also have this smaller 6 billion parameter one, uh, uh, but both of them are released on GitHub and you can try them online, download the parameters, and run them for yourself.